Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Diego with the lovely Karina here in Bogota, Colombia. High up in the Andes Mountains in South America, waiting for our K-1 visa to get processed. Now you guys who are regular followers of our channel, you know we're in Bogota, you know where we're at, but we need to tell the new viewers our location. And we are waiting for our K-1 visa, which is in process at this visa center in California. And as, as of this month here, end of October, beginning November, it's a 14 month wait from NOA 1 to NOA 2. Oh well, so sorry. But you guys and us are in the same boat and we're going to wait patiently for our visa. It's going to get approved. You didn't mess up your paperwork. You have a strong visa package. You didn't miss anything. You hit every dot and every T and you didn't forget to sign your petition. Okay, so you're going to get your visa. You're just going to have to wait for it. But this video is about what if you filed for your K-1 visa at the lockbox in Dallas and you got a text message, Mr. Sponsor, saying that the, the uh, USCIS service, uh, Dallas lockbox received your visa and then you don't hear another peep out of immigration. What are you going to do? Well, come on, I'll explain it to you. Okay, so you filed your K-1 visa, Mr. Sponsor, you, Mr. Sponsor, to the lockbox in Dallas. You, you submitted a perfect visa package. It didn't get sent back to you because you didn't mess up. And you used G, USCIS form G1145 to tell immigration what your, tech, what your email address is, what your cell phone number is. And the Dallas lockbox texted you a message with a USCIS number. Uh, and saying they received your package and a month has passed, six weeks has passed, two months have passed and you haven't received your hard copy of your NOA-1 letter. Now I would be getting a little nervous because you got the text message saying Dallas Glockbox received it and sent it to the service center whether it's in Texas, California, blah 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 but you haven't received your hard copy NOA-1 letter which you need and you have your WAC number, your receipt number, which you can use to set up an online account, but you still need your hard copy of your letter. What do you do? Okay? Well, I have some good news for you guys, okay? It's not difficult. Listen up. Okay, Mr. Sponsor, relax. In your cell phone, there's a text message from USIS saying they received your visa package. You checked and they cashed your check or they, or they billed your credit card the $535 and you've been checking your mailbox every day for the last two plus months and you still haven't got your hard copy letter. Okay? What you do is you email right here. Boom, boom, boom. Email the support team at USCIS right here. Okay? Lockbox support at USCIS.dhs.gov and email them and say, hey guys, you sent me a text message, you got, my pa you got my visa package, you cashed my check, but where's my hard copy of my letter? Send them a very nice polite email, take a phone shot, snap, take a phone photocopy, snapshot, however you do it, a screenshot is the word I'm thinking of, of the, of the text message you got from USCIS, write a letter, Include the screenshot from the USCIS service center that they got your package, the Dallas lockbox. Write a letter, include the WAC number if they sent it to you in the, in the text message and say, guys, can you please send me a hard copy of my NOA-1 letter? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Lockbox support at USCIS.dhs.gov. Send them a letter and they'll send you a hard copy. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're here in Colombia in uh, Bogota and we will see you in Colombia. Colombia and soon in the United States. You have got this. You will get your visa, be calm, relax and stay cool. <laughs>